How's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right. <clears throat> okay, so at the end of the last one, I said I didn't know what this one was going to be about. Um, I hadn't made a decision yet because my head was so full of uh, book stuff um, with the release of the colours I see being pretty imminent at that point in time. Um, I'll be honest, I still, I still don't really know what this one is going to be about. Um, my head is still full of, very much still full of book stuff right now, um, as I'm sort of getting to grips with um, how the whole Kindle Direct process works, especially when you've got your uh, book enrolled in the program that allows it for the uh, Kindle Unlimited stuff. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. Um, so yeah, my, my head is still very much full of book stuff right now. <laughs> so I get the feeling this one is sort of going to be a bit of a continuation of the last couple and also a bit of like an updatey kind of one. Um, so maybe I should start with all the sort of updatey stuff first. Um, so, <laughs> um, <clears throat> with the release of uh, The Colours I See, and sort of around that time as well, and I think I've mentioned it um, in the last couple of vlogs, um, I've been considering moving Echo and Hyena Boy from Lulu to um, Kindle Direct. Uh, I definitely think that is the way I'm going to go forward from here um, and in fact I'm already preparing Hyena Boy for the, the changeover. Um, so it's going to be a proper second edition um, of, of Hyena Boy. I mean I know I've sort of updated Hyena Boy on the Lulu version a couple of times though it's been a bit of a hassle but those changes have been for the most part fairly minor ones and most of the changes that I'm making this time are fairly minor ones minus the biggest change which I'm going to talk about in a second. Um, so I want to assure anybody who has purchased a copy of Hyena Boy before the 7th of December 2019 that the basic story is still the same. Um, most of the changes that I've made are just to tighten up the continuity with um, the clothes I see a little bit more. Um, I've mentioned in a few of the videos that I've done, um, sort of talking about the, the Never Aten series, um, that because Hyena Boy was, was canonised, um, I, was, I was worried that some of the, the details um, in, in the clothes I see might reflect badly on Jay um, for not sort of mentioning them or for not interpreting them correctly and stuff like that. So one of the things I've decided that I, I'm going to do is uh, not necessarily add those bits in, they don't need to be added in, but make references to them. As I said, it's to tighten up the continuity um, a little better. Um, that's kind of the problem when you sort of publish a book whilst you're sort of writing a sequel and you make, well, it's not even a sequel, whilst you're writing the companion book, whilst you're writing the book that's happening at the same point in time in the timeline, <laughs> but is a lot more expansive and a lot more detailed. Um, it, you know, the, the, as I said, nothing contradicted itself. There were no sort of major contradictions. Um, it was more just to tighten the continuity a little bit more. It was more, more uh, about making sure that it doesn't feel like Jay is completely uh, clueless or completely selfish, um, as it just to to make the two books work better together. As I said, it's not a major overhaul. It's not changing the basic plot. It's not changing the basic characters because that that's all still the same. It's just a few details different here and there, just to tighten up the continuity with um, with the colours I see. Um, so if you if you already have a copy of the book, as I said, before the 7th of December 2019, and I know there aren't that many copies of the book out there. <laughs> There's like a handful of copies of the book out there. So this is not going to affect um, a huge number of people. Um, 
but and one of the reasons I'm trying to to get the change done um I mean and today <laughs> the 7th of December 2019 is the day where I'm going through uh doing a sort of final check edit um making a few more adjustments making sure everything looks good um because I want to get um the the new version of Hyena Boy available as soon as possible and I know what I need to do for that and I know there are going to be a few days where it's not going to be available in order to make the the transfer um in order to make make sure the transfer happens um but I'm trying to make sure it, it gets done as quickly as possible because I because of the way uh the Kindle Unlimited thing works I know there are people out there reading right now um I don't know how many people are reading I don't know if it's just just one person who is progressing or if it's a couple of people who are progressing a bit more slowly um but I know there are people reading and I know I've sold at least a couple of copies of the clothes I see at this point so I know sooner rather than later if people enjoy enjoy the work and they want to continue with the series I need to have the best copy of Hyena Boy available for them sooner rather than later um so uh, again, one of the reasons I haven't thought too much about this is because I've I've had my head so full of this stuff that I need to you know make sure that I've got it done quickly. I make, need to make sure that I, I minimise the amount of time that Heiner Boy is off the market for as much as possible, and uh, make sure that the new the new updated version is out there. And as I said, tightening up the continuity so that it feels like Jay is a less selfish character. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's not the biggest. That's not the biggest problem. Um, some of the some of the bigger changes have sort of come, not necessarily as as a result of its continuity with with cards I see, because the continuity there has always been quite good. And like little changes in the scenes is necessary because one's being told from the character when they're seventeen, looking back on it, and one's being told from the character at the point of time. So of course. There are going to be some inconsistencies, so of course there are going to be, you know, it, it's one character's point of view and another character's point of view. There are going to be like details that are not not exactly the same, or reflect slightly differently, or something like that. But I have added in references to various things that were um, not necessarily there before, just to tighten up the continuity. And uh, one of the bigger changes I made was actually to the epilogue and has come about as a result of some of the decisions I've made in the later books in the timeline, uh, the two books that I still haven't released the names for yet. <laughs> um, but very much, yeah, that, that sort of, I had to go through the epilogue and that's, that's a bit I did tackle first. So I went through the epilogue and I tightened up its continuity to later points in the timeline. Um, again, it's not necessarily going to be 100%, you know, this, this is going to 100% correctly reflect everything, but then the epilogue doesn't give you a lot of information about these characters and their lives at the point of the time in, in the timeline when, from when the epilogue is, is, um, is written, and I'm trying to be really careful not to do any spoilers there. <laughs> that, that spoils quite a lot if I, uh, if I reveal any, if I reveal too much about the epilogue. Um, but yeah, no, it, it is supposed to be set quite a bit in the future, so it's it's supposed to be set like even further in the future than the other two books in the series. Um, so again, a lot of things can have changed, a lot of things can have happened, um, a lot of the things that are being referred to aren't things that are going to necessarily appear in the other two books in the series, so I don't have to worry too much about that. There have been a couple of things that have happened in those two books in the series that I know would have an impact um, on, on, on certain things in the epilogue and um, so the first thing I did was I went through the epilogue and I tightened up that continuity to the later books in the series um, because that felt important. <laughs> if I was going to do this I was going to do it right. Um, so yeah the, a lot of the, the biggest changes that have happened in terms of uh, differences in, in what's what in the content of the book is in the epilogue and then every everywhere else it's like maybe slightly line different here or there um and there really isn't that much difference um it might be like an line added here a line taken away there and this and that and the other but it's all small changes everywhere else spread across the the, the main bulk of the story whereas the epilogue has a few more um especially because it's, it's the shortest part of the book the epilogue um 
as a few more differences uh, to, to how it was originally written, although how it was originally written it still works. It, it doesn't contradict the continuity um, and the timeline or anything. It's just this version of the epilogue is a better continuity to the rest of the books in the collection um, than the previous epilogue was. And, and that's, again, that's all these little changes are, is to get a better continuity with the rest of the Never Rating collection, rather than to, to completely change the, the story or to completely change the things. The original version is still a, a good continuity to the rest of the Never Rating stuff. This version is just a better continuity to the rest of the Never Rating stuff. Um, so <clears throat> with that said, uh, the biggest change, <laughs> uh, and, and, and like I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with those are all small sort of changes. Even like the, the changes to the epilogue are all sorts of small changes. The biggest change is I've changed how the chapters are done. So if you have a copy of the book before the seventh of de December, twenty nineteen, you will notice that your copy of the book has twenty one chapters in an epilogue. That is how it was originally done. The chapters were all about six-ish pages long, some maybe a bit longer, some maybe a bit shorter. Um, but that is how the book was laid out in its original edition, in its first edition. Um, in its new edition, <laughs> the book has five chapters. All the story is still there. It has five chapters and those chapters are called notebooks rather than chapters. So it's notebook one, notebook two, notebook three, notebook four, and notebook five. Um, they are all very long chapters, so I apologise to anybody out there who doesn't enjoy really long chapters, but it still has those little uh, breaks, uh, so there are still plenty of places that you can sort of pause it and, and, and come back to it later. Um, so it's still broken up into scenes and, and, and that is all still sort of done. And what I'm hoping is a nice uh, easy way for people to sort of follow and to to be able to sort of pause it and kind of go okay I know I'm here I mean with with ebook editions it's easy enough to do that anyway because it always says whatever page you're on last so ebook editions it's always you know it's not going to necessarily affect an ebook reader quite so much and as I said there are the little they're currently asterisks whether they stay asterisks when I go through the the kindle create or whether I change it to something a bit more unique to, to make it um set it apart a little bit from uh, from the colours I see, because you know, and it is a, it's a different book from the colours I see. It's not you know written from the point of view of the same character. It's um, this that, and the other. But I felt the whole thing is supposed to be Jay writing in these notebooks. That is the the selling point of the colours I see. That it's Jay at age almost seventeen writing his story in these notebooks. Um, so having it in like the traditional chapter format. Okay, yes, it works, but I'm trying to sell the idea that these are the notebooks and in terms of its continuity within the rest of the collection, in terms of setting it apart as its own thing within the connection, within the connection, within the collection, <laughs> um, and, and stuff like that, it's, it feels better. And before I kind of jumped into making this change, I did discuss it with um, Jade and I did discuss it with the guy that does my covers. I'm, I'm not giving his name because I, I don't actually use his name. I, I have a nickname for him and I'm, I'm not getting into that right now. <laughs> That's, it's what I call him. It's nothing offensive. Um, but it, it's, you know, it, I call him this for, for personal reasons and I'm, I'm not going to to name drop what my, my nickname for him is. Um, anyway, um, the, I, I discussed it with both of them. I, I sort of talked through why I felt this was a good idea and they both went, yes, it makes sense. Yes, absolutely, this is something we should do. Both um, in terms of making sure it stands out as its own thing within the collection, uh, especially because it's definitely at this point the shortest book in the collection. Even like the, the fourth book in the collection, not even finished yet, and it's still longer already than The Hyena Boy. Um, so it, it just makes sense that this one is 
formatted differently and, and stands itself apart differently. Um, and then as I was sort of discussing it with them, I also brought up the fact that actually it's not the only book that has its own unique selling point. Um, so by having it as a notebook, that sets it apart by having it as the shortest book in the series, that sets it apart as having it the only book in the series that is the character looking back on his life rather than the character, you know, things unfolding as the character is, is growing up, which is kind of um, how everything um, happens for the rest of them. You know, all of these things combined, that's a unique selling point for, for Hyena Boy. That's what makes it Hyena Boy and, and not The Colours I See or the other two books in the collection. Um, the Colours I See, it, 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 it's sort of more traditional format, a more traditional sort of pace, well, a much slower pacing than I'm used to writing, <laughs> but, you know, a slower pacing than Hyena Boy. It covers a lot more detail than Hyena Boy. It's happening alongside Zell growing up, so you grew up with the character as you progress through the book. So um, in those sorts of terms, that's, that's what makes it stand out. Yes, it's happening at the same time period as Hyena Boy, but it, it feels like a completely different story to Hyena Boy because of how much more detail that you get and various things like that. Um, so that's that's how those two books, as companion books, are unique from each other. And you move on to the third book in the series, and I will, in the new year, reveal who is the star of the third book in the series along with the title, and I'll explain why I'm going to be doing that in the new year. In the next vlog, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna keep this one sort of focused on all the narrating stuff, and then the next vlog, Still kind of focusing on the never rating stuff, but also onto the website. I'm going to talk about the website. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, just because I've got so much to sort of talk about with you with you guys. I might as well break it up and, and not try to cram anything into one long video. Anyway. Um, so yeah, the, the third book in the series, I'm going to reveal the, the name of the protagonist and the, the name of the book in the new year, maybe not like in January, but certainly within, within the first couple of months of next year, um, I'll be ready to sort of reveal that. As I said before, I've already started editing. <laughs> um, that's kind of going a bit slower than I would like at the moment because of everything else that I'm trying to do uh, with the launch of, of The Colours I See and Christmas coming up and, um, and various other things that are kind of getting in the way at the moment. And as I said next week, one of those things I, uh, and I will be addressing is, is the website stuff, which is also taking my time away from editing at the moment, but I'll explain that next week. Um, but yeah, the, the, the third book in the series, its selling point is that it's the first, the first, the earliest of the two books set further in the timeline. Um, so, the, you know, it's it set a couple of years after the end of, of High Inner Boy and the Colour I See. Um, but the fourth book is set, like, it starts a year later. So these two books don't start at the same point in time and they're not going to finish at the same point in time, which is kind of what the first two um, kind of do. I mean, they, they kind of do and they kind of don't. Um, but there is sort of a little bit... Eh. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it too much. Um... But yeah, the, the unique selling point of, of the third book in the collection is that it's the first of the two, or the earliest of the two, set in the later part of the timeline. Um, and the fourth book in the collection has a unique way of doing the chapters. So the chapters are sort of broken down a little bit more. I don't want to talk too much about that because that doesn't that, that not only gives spoilers for the fourth book in the collection, but also gives some spoilers for the third book in the collection, just because of uh, various things you find out in the third book in the collection, because again, they're companion books, so there's some overlap um, between them. There are some shared scenes between them, um, because that's that's the way my companion books are, are working for this series. So the, the first two have some overlap, and the second two are going to have some overlap, because that's just just how it, how it goes. <laughs> um, but once, once you've kind of read the uh, the, the third one, or once the third one is released, I will start talking about the unique way the the chapters in, in the fourth one are going to be are going to be done. Um, and I may also next year reveal the the title of the fourth book, because at that point in the protagonist will be pretty obvious for the fourth book. Um, but there are still some decisions I have to make about how and when those details are going to be revealed, and I will be talking about that one. On the next vlog, um, I, I know this is sort of a lot of updated stuff, and updated ones are kind of not necessarily um, 
the best in terms of views, but none of my videos get views. So <laughs> I can really talk about whatever I want for the next uh, two or three of these, and it's not going to make any difference to my performance whatsoever. <laughs> And like, I need to stop saying things like that because anybody who is watching them are probably going to get really put off by me saying things like that. And I do appreciate anybody out there who does genuinely take interest in watching these videos and watching these types of uh, updated kind of ones where I'm sort of talking about the various things that I'm doing, the various projects that I'm managing and, and how things are going. I do really appreciate you. I am doing this for you guys so that you guys have the information so that you are aware of what's going on and and um and stuff like that I you know I, I very much do care about the people who will be interested in this information it's just I know those people don't exist right now <laughs> maybe one day they will exist and people will go and they'll be like oh I need to find a copy of the book that was published before this point in December of 2019 because that's now a limited edition <laughs> Oh, I dream big. I dream big. But then I have to. <laughs> All right. So I hope you guys have found this one interesting. I know it was a lot of bleh of information to do with Hyena Boy and the re-releasing of Hyena Boy. Um, I hope you guys are looking forward to finding out what I have to say about the website next time. Um, that should hopefully be a pretty interesting one. It might not necessarily be a long one, um, but hopefully it will be an interesting one for you guys um, because actually the, the website has been quite exciting and all the stuff that I've got going on with the website at the moment is, oh my God, so much work. <laughs> but it's quite exciting and I'm finally putting into play all of those things that I've been wanting to do since I um, first decided to have this website in the format that it, that it is. Unfortunately, a lot of things that have kind of slowed me down with it is the fact that it's not an easy website to, I mean, I love you Wix, but you're not the easiest thing to use. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I will go into more detail about that next time. I hope you guys are looking forward to uh, seeing that next time. And I will see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!